everyone. We are still in front of the rock and today is day two and we're gonna check out uh, they have some tours that uh, you can go up on the rock see some monkeys, see some parks some history so we're gonna do that and guess what outliers overland are also here and uh, you saw them in Alaska a couple of years ago and in Boston we met them and now we meet them here in Spain at the border to Gibraltar. Let's so see how that works. Enjoy this video. I am Isabella and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home Frank the Tank for the past almost four years. And together with our son Mateo and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain and Basco from Germany, we are living even for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. So now we are going from the Spanish side with Mateo to England. Yay! Gibraltar. <laughs> Crazy, right? Here we go. A little windy. I think this is a border. And there is the mountain that everybody knows. We're gonna do it, check it out. Buckling up the dogs for the border. And off we go. The last time we saw the fence like this was in Mexico to the United States. I didn't know that in Europe we have that. Yes. <laughs> but you never stop learning. Yeah, here is the border. Aduana. This time only walking. Funny experience. So there we are, leaving Europe. So now we got out of Spain and now we have to get into Great Britain or Gibraltar. So check it out. There we go, inside Gibraltar. That's the flag of Gibraltar. Nice. Mateo, huh? First border change. Welcome to Gibraltar. We are gonna walk over a runway. Check this out. Airfield ahead. Mateo, you gonna go over an airfield. You like it? So while we wait at the gas station, right on the runway, Uni Fica, and Isabella is taking a pee pee, uh, we just figured it's 20 cents cheaper here to fill the diesel and it's just basically you drive over to Gibraltar and then you fill your diesel tank and we have a 500 liter diesel tank. Unfortunately right now we are full but I'm gonna definitely drive over here and top up. Yeah, yeah right? That's good, Matteo. So now we are in the city center of Gibraltar and we walk in the Whatever it says behind me. <laughs> what a gate. There you go. Hey, where, where are we at GTA? What does that stand for? The World Taxi Association. All right. Some information on what we do at the top of the rock. At the moment, we're here okay. at the border. We have these minivans that start from outside the door every 10 to 15 minutes. The transport guide and entrance for the upper rock all together is 32 pounds. Okay. 19 is the tour, 13 is the entrance, so 32 pounds per person. The children go absolutely free, we don't charge them. And it would be interesting. No, we don't charge dogs. No, but can dogs, can dogs go? No, the thing is, 
The cable car will not allow dogs. Oh. Hiking, it's way too dangerous because the apes and dogs do not get on. So if you come with us on the minivan, when you're going inside the cave and tunnels, the driver will stay with the dog. Ah, you can bring the dog. It's very important that the dog stays inside the vehicle. And we drive you along the city to the south of the rock. This is a viewpoint where you can see Africa, Atlantic and Mediterranean. And today we will do what? A tour. A tour. What Matteo will see for first time? Monkeys hopefully. Nice. Gibraltar gets his name out of an emperor called Tariq and Gibral means piece of rock in Arabic. So they used to call it the rock of Gibraltar. But then over the years it became Gibraltar. Then they lost it through battles to Spain. But in 1704, there was a treaty called the Treaty of Utrecht. There was no battles between Great Britain and Spain. And it was given away on perpetuity for life. Gibraltar, we are all bilingual. We speak English and Spanish fluently. Although our schools, our laws, science, everything's in English. In fact, the only thing we don't have typically British is that we drive on the right side. Yeah. And that's because we changed in 1929 from left to right. It was easier for us to drive like Europe. Less problems. This is fun. Yesterday we were walking down and today we did a tour with a truck. And we're going to go up and going to check out Gibraltar from above. He's sleeping so I will carry him around. Won't stop us. And this is the two pillars that Hercules was supposedly splitting Africa and Europe. That's the myth. So hi guys, we are here with uh, Ronald, he's our tour guide of Gibraltar. He's a real, how do you say, Gibraltar? Gibraltarian. Gibraltarian, and he's going to do the tour. Thanks Ronald. From there, we'll drive you up to the next stop, which is a natural cave with a light show, St. Michael's Cave. Ah, okay. So you can walk through it, you can sit down, you can see the light show. Now, there's Africa, straight across there. See, Spain on the right, Morocco is straight across. Oh. As you go up, it's the Atlantic, as you go left, we are going now to the caves and uh, yeah, we're gonna check it out. Nice. And, and maybe we'll see some monkeys. And maybe he's gonna wake up after that he can see some monkeys. Yes. There it is, a monkey. We go to the highest point of the rock. You can see the city, the beaches on the other side, 
and this new platform that has the floor made of glass. Oh, wow. You can see through it. The height of the rock is 426 meters, and it's the center part of the rock. It's a place called Spyglass. It's got radars. It's run by the RAF and military. They control the areas of around the streets and everything. But the center part of the rock is the highest point. It's even higher than the cable car station. It's roughly about 1,300 feet approximately. Wow, Matteo. Oh, this is I'm... beautiful. Look at that, Matteo. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> my This is nice. Wow. Look, Matteo, the water down there. Obviously not scared. No. <laughs> super Matteo. Hey, super Matteozinho. Você quer andar aqui? Ai, minha vida. Just in case Oh, wow. He's not afraid of heights. Uh, no. Like... <laughs> Muito bem. Mama and Matteo are doing a photo shoot. <laughs> now this is then the perfect moment to introduce to all of you guys today's sponsor Skillshare. A few videos ago I told to all of you that I was doing a class from Photo Essentials by Justin Bridges the fundamentals of DSLR photography and this course was great I learned so much now I really have a little more confidence I still need a lot of practice but here you guys can see a little of my latest work The nice part of Skillshare is that you have an ad-free class, so you can stay in the zone while exploring new skills. And what I like it is that now they have an entire catalog available with subtitles. Para os meus seguidores brasileiros, também tem legenda em português. Exactly, subtitles in Portuguese, Spanish, French, and German. If you guys want to try out, they are giving to our subscribers one month free trial. The first thousand people to use the link in my description or the code leave and give for before will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Enjoy! Look who we have here! <laughs> Americans in Europe! Americans in Europe! You know those guys! <laughs> exactly! Ben and Rebecca! Yeah, somehow our paths have crossed in the past and a lot of things have happened. Exactly! <laughs> so now you can find them on YouTube? Oh, yes, YouTube. Oh, it's time for a shameless plug. Exactly. Yes, oh, we are Ben and Rebecca of Outliers Overland, a couple of Alaskans driving around the world in an expedition view. Perfect. That's awesome. That, that sounds it. good. That sounds All good. Right. So, this is Gibraltar from the top. Enjoy. And one thing said, Matteo doesn't have a fear of height. That's good. Check it out. So yesterday we were walking all that down there, Matteo Zinho. We were walking until the end. And you can check it out here. for pedestrians then you can go walk look at this how crazy wow 
We are almost at the most southern point of Europe. We have to walk through this tunnel. What they have here. Nice waterfall. And look who's awake. Matteo seeing you. Wanna look to Africa, Matteo? We are almost on the end. Let's see, let's see. There it is. Whoa, blue sky. And the night pass. Awesome, we managed. take you to the ape feeding area with a guide that knows them. Little boy. Ah, you are comfortable sitting there. Hi. He's checking that there is something there that I can touch, that I can take. British man made tunnels that will be during the Great Siege of Gibraltar. Should you go in there? We spend another 25 minutes, there's a lot of military history on the walls. Back here, where you started, is a total of two hours. Okay. Three cigarettes, booze, perfume, luxury items are cheaper. But water, electricity, accommodations, it's more expensive. Cost of living here is higher than Spain. But the government, they've done a thing that for people which have money in Gibraltar, and they don't want to get those people to put their money out of Gibraltar, there's a, there's a, a bank, we have the Gibraltar Bank, and you can actually put your money in the bank, right? No matter how much money it is, they'll give you a 5% on a 10 years which you can't, you can't um, uh, use. Remove it. Yeah. And you don't have to be taxed on that. They won't tax you on that.
me just to be correct, I just, uh, while I'm sitting here and resting from this hike, uh, I just checked, I think Tarifa is the most southern point, I don't know, at least according to the map that I was from here. Um, but anyway, it's pretty south, and I don't know if you can still call Gibraltar Europe, because they're British, they're not Brexit, you know, who knows? Anyways, we are here, uh, we love it, see you when we see you, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, God, this is so